Hey y'all, so in our small garden here, we're in zone 8B, Central Texas, Brazos Valley area. And if you are growing zucchini, this is the first for me. Um, and I, I found some information on it. It's where your zucchini is bumpy. So it's not the nice smooth texture that you're used to, but it has more of a bumpy surface to it, which is kind of a key. Hey, something's wrong. The first thing I noticed with this is the blossom stayed on. And so I thought, well, maybe it was just an abnormality. The blossom stayed on and therefore the fruit is a little weird. But then I started to notice that the new blossoms coming in for this plant are all green for some reason. Not yellow, like it should be. So here's an example of normal yellow. And actually the, the plant is, is very long. This has been in here for a while. I've harvested several fruit from it. So you can see that the new growth looks looks healthy, but there is something going on. And just from what I've read, it, it's a matter of a disease, like a virus. And it seems to be zucchini yellow mosaic virus. And the only way I can really tell that it's affected this plant is by the fruit. Um, and certainly you can judge something by its fruit and what it produces. And with it being bumpy like this, I can think it's it's got to be the virus, even though it hasn't necessarily affected the leaves or the other parts other than the blossoms being extremely weird. But I am going to take out this whole plant because I don't want it to be something that will spread to my other plants. I don't think it's something that is spread like powdery mildew in the air, but parasites. I think it's a bug thing. So if a bug comes and eats off of this plant, then they can go and spread the virus to the next plant. So I'm going to have to take it out, which in some ways will make my garden happier because I'll have more room for my other stuff. And maybe I'll plant something else there in its place. Um, but I, I do want to make sure I can keep my other zucchini plants as much as I can. And I'll have to cut out this little, little strange one. And if anybody has any other suggestions on, maybe it's not this virus, but I'm pretty sure it is. And, and the first key was this blossom staying on the bumpy fruit and then the flowers turning yet are green. Um, so it's just not normal. So we're going to take that out and we'll cut open the fruit too. Apparently you can still eat the fruit like that. It's, it's not a virus that spreads to humans. It's still fine to eat. They say the texture may be a little different, but I've got enough of the, the good zucchini that I'm not going to do that, but I'll, I'll open it and see what it looks like. So here I'm going to take this zucchini out. These were zucchini that I planted way too close together here. Here's where this one starts and I hate to do this poor thing, but if it's diseased, I got to get it out of here. So this will take it out for me. I'll try to do it where I'm not getting it. Look at that puppy. It's like a sea creature. So we'll put it here and we'll have to lay it to rest. I'm not sure if I'm gonna compost it just because I don't know with the virus factor what that looks like. Um, kind of sad, it leaves a big gap. It's gonna be okay. So that is um, the yellow or zucchini yellow mosaic thing in a nutshell. Um, I just noticed this, that the new fruit, this is the female. So the male are the, are the skinny stems and the female fruit is the fruit that's coming up and it is all twisted and funky. That is not normal for a zucchini. So yeah, this little baby got a virus and turned it into a little mutant. Um, and what you have to do for that to make sure it's not gonna take over your garden and hopefully I don't have other parasites spreading the, the virus to things because there are, it can spread to cucumber, I think watermelon as well. So I'm hoping I've, I've caught it in time. So I'm going to open up this, this bumpy zucchini. Even the feel of it was different. The texture, eh. It's a much thicker skin, it seems like. And so it's kind of interesting. It smells the same. It smells the same. I'm not going to eat it, but um, yeah. Zucchini mosaic virus 101. <laughs> All right, I hope this helps somebody. It certainly was a big mystery to me until I decided to finally look up bumpy fruit because the yellow and to the green flowers was not getting me anywhere. 
I didn't understand why that was turning green. So thanks guys for joining us.